Hey guys, Josh here from Bris Vegas Fishing with your dosage of fishing goodness. Today we are going to walk through an installation, if you will, of the Water Snake Combat CR. Wait a sec. We're going to run through an amateur guide, if you will, on the installation and setup of the Water Snake Combat Series electric bow mount motor from Jarvis Walker. Now, this has 54 pounds of thrust and it is a 54 inch shaft length. I will also throw up a size ratio chart on the side here that's provided by Jarvis Walker themselves and it goes through and it'll tell you what size bow mount electric motor you will need for what size special. Blech what size boat that you have if you do have any extra questions on that feel free to drop a comment below in the comment section now i'm no expert or anything like that so what we're going to do today is basic walkthrough on install of the actual motor itself to the bow now my boat is a fiberglass boat so we're going to walk through install on a fiberglass model you also need to buy a battery because that doesn't come with the kit however the kit does come with all the bolts bracketing and uh, wiring that you should need Unless you are looking at extending your wiring to a different part of your boat, then you will need an extra bit of wiring. In the owner's manual itself that you receive with your package, it does actually tell you what size gauge wire you will need if you depend, depending on how long you plan on actually running your wire out on the boat. So it'll have a length to thickness ratio inside this book here. So that being said, we'll jump right into it, guys. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the quick release bracket, mount that to the bow so that we can then organize where we want to run the cable on that afterwards. So the main thing is getting your hardware mounted first and going from there. So I'll set you guys up. We'll go through, we'll drill the holes, we'll screw it to the deck. We'll probably actually silicon that, that base to the deck as well just for a bit of added strength. Up on the bow, we have a little template, I guess you could say, like there's a section here. So there's a ridge line along here. And it's basically the width of this point here all the way through the bow is timber on the top that's so we can actually mount this plastic base to the actual front so i'll set you guys up we'll get it ready and we will i don't know go from there all right guys let's set you up over here So there's the other side of it. That's your little U-bolt that goes right in there, locks it all in. And let's have a look, see. She looks pretty good. Pretty nice, pretty tidy. Great success. Uh, now we have to install the propeller as well. So let's just set you guys up here. What have we got? Right, so we got the propeller. 
I believe this is your little turning device to be able to wind it on and lock it in position. So once again, all this comes in the kit. Have a look at it, quick look. All right, so everything's taped into your actual three, three blade prop. <laughs> we also got a little dowel. Let's get it go through here. Right, that looks on like so. And you've got your little wing nut, your little flange nut, brass fitting. You wind that on, do it up until it's hand tight. You're gonna wanna hold your prop. Let's use that little tool. Ooh, and nip that up. Just until it's firm. I mean you can't you can't really over tighten it anyway, because you probably want to keep this in a box somewhere in case you ever do need to, but there we go. Now I'd imagine on first inspection, little plastic propeller blades like that, I dare say they probably snap. So I hope Jarvis Walker have a uh, I hope they have spare ones, I guess, or sell spare ones for not too dear a price because it's a plastic prop. <laughs> I get obviously corrosion resistant and stuff like that, you have to go plastic, but if you're hitting sticks and stuff like that, that's gonna snap pretty quick. Not that you should be, but oh, we all know people do, everyone does, I do. I definitely do. All right, that's that done. We'll, go on the bin. we'll keep this tool somewhere. Keep it in the GoPro case for now. All right, so next step is the battery. So we've got ourselves a was it, projector 12 volt power station uh, battery box. Now this has all your all your additional extras. You get a couple of 12 volt sockets here for your charging purposes and so on. Uh, a couple of Anderson plugs on the top for quick and easy release. Now this is probably more suited for full driving instance. So obviously you don't want to leave it out on your deck. It's probably not super corrosion resistant. So, you know, your plugs over time, unless you're using like electrical grease or something like that, over time they're probably going to get a bit of corrosion build up. So I'd probably keep it in a cool, dry place if possible, which is basically what we're going to do. So we've got a cupboard down here where we're going to actually snig it up, uh, snig it, snug it up inside. And we're just going to basically strap it to the edge Ah, hopefully it fits. Right. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're just gonna tuck our battery up inside this front compartment here. Now, normally we just keep safety gear and stuff like that in there, so it should fit just inside here and we should be able to strap it into the corner so it shouldn't move around too much not that it probably will anyway because you've got the uh part of the deck there that sort of helps keep everything nice and tight nice and tidy so i don't know how well we're gonna be able to do this and you're probably gonna see a little bit of uh the darker side of me we're gonna get a ratchet all right so this whole battery box it comes complete basically Everything's all wired up. I know it looks pretty scary, but all you gotta do is remember the black goes on the negative and red goes on the positive. And you're good to go, basically. Yeah, we've already got our battery tucked in here. What we're gonna try and do is manhandle it into here. So, bear with me, guys. Try and prop it so you guys can see it. aluminium strip piece just in there it's just screwed to the deck it's just to stop it from moving side to side so there you have it that's the battery setup that we're going to run with it's just tucked up inside there then what we're going to do is we're just going to route our wires up through the inside and then we're just going to bring them out up the bow easy as 
Right, next step, wiring. So let's get that all sorted. run our wiring down through underneath through our um, anchor well hat and we come out through where the battery is so we've got our lead out through the other side We now have it all done and plumbed up, or plumbed up. We now got it all connected up. I'm just gonna shoot in there, show you guys how it looks. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much done then, and we can then start it up, test it, see if everything works, I guess, and go from there. All right, so we have it all wired up, positive off to here for now, and negative off in the back there. Now I know what you guys are thinking, you've got a bare positive connection, a bare negative. Um, as long as I'm not putting any metal all the way across to that side, there's no way I can short it out. Because on a boat, you've got to basically, like, it's not as if you can earth it out to fiberglass. Fiberglass is one of the best insulators out there, so it should be fine. We're not going to be putting any metal or anything like that up in there, so... It'll be fine for now anyway, and later on I'm going to be basically putting an Anderson plug connection on there so I can be, so I can just plug it, plug it in or plug unplug it and remove it as necessary. Alright guys, so let's start it up and see what it goes like. Alright guys, so we've got our foot pedals connected up. Everything's connected up here. Let's just have a look down here. So, if I go right, oh, it goes right. Left, right, swing, let's give it some throttle. Oh, very nice. It's nice. That's pretty quiet. That sounds cool. Alright guys, so that's basic install of the motor. So if you made it this far in the video, congrats guys. I know it's probably a really long video. It's probably boring for a lot of my normal viewers as well. I apologize. But for those of you that I have helped, that'd be great if you could just give me a little thumbs up in the comment section below just to let me know that you made it this far. That'd be muchly appreciated guys. 
Now, what we're gonna do next is we are gonna go out and I will probably, in the next video, I will take it out for a spin and we'll do a little bit of review on it. I'll let you know my thoughts. We might even put it through put it through its paces. We'll try a little bit of car setting. We'll try a little bit of lure flicking. We'll just try basic speed and stuff like that as well. So stay tuned for that video, guys. It'll probably be coming up in the next couple of days or so. Uh, for everyone else, you'll probably just see it anyway. It'll just be in my channel. So that being said, guys, remember to drop a comment if you have any questions on how I installed this um, motor, this electric bow mount motor to my boat. Any additional comments that you may have, just feel free to drop them down below. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you liked this sort of content. It'll let me know that you guys love seeing these sort of videos. If not, equally, just give me a thumbs down. I'm happy with that. That's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. For those of you that have been thinking about it, the subscribe button should just be up here. If not, it's just up here. I can't remember which side of the video it's going to be on. So just hit that. It's as easy as hitting that button, guys, and you'll be subscribed to my channel and you'll be able to see when I upload new videos. With that being said, guys, remember, 80-20, that's fishing, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, see ya.